Alright, gonna try knocking off this Asgardians team with AIM. They currently don't have Sif yet, they're using Hulk as a tank, which is just fine. My uh, AIM guys are 225k versus 263, so it's a bit of a punch up, but uh, in my experience, eh, you know, 25k punch up on, well, 10% doesn't look too bad, maybe 15. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. Um, it may go horribly, I don't know, but uh, this is one of those wars where we are so far below the enemy in power that uh, we're just taking a vacation. So it gives us the opportunity to try things that we normally would. And uh, this looks like fun to me, so I wanted to try this out and see how it goes. Um, let's see, all right, so we're gonna put debuffs on everybody, hope they land, and from my past experiences, I know that getting rid of um, Thor is really important, however, he's got defense up, so we'll just leave him there and go for Heimdall since he's got defense down. We're gonna go ahead and stun Thor. It's really important to keep him at bay because when he gets those charges, he will murder you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and heal anyway because he's got taunt on him. And oh shit, he had heal block. Oh, that was dumb. All right, I really need to get that taunt off of him. All right, and uh, let's focus Heimdall down for right now. And we're gonna flip these buffs into our debuffs into our buffs. Hopefully, we don't lose our friend Aim Assaulter too soon here. And then there's the taunt from him. That's okay. We'll let Reese Searcher take that damage. Again. And we're gonna go ahead and use this now anyway. It's on a short cooldown. Um, I guess we'll do this. Let's get some speed going. Keep on attacking here. Let's see if we can get the fence down on him finally. There we go. He's just gonna. Uh, he's just gonna get rid of all those buffs as soon as he does the taunt anyway. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, let's go ahead and keep Assaulter alive. He does a lot of damage. We're gonna need him. Ouch. Dude blew up on my guy. Uh, okay, so gonna try to. Oof. I guess we'll just go for Hulk for now since he's up there. Uh, nobody actually has evade except for the Loki guys. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. That's one of the things that's nice is the uh, as Guardians they get the stealth for two turns, but it doesn't give them evade like a hand sentry uh, stealth bomb does, and so it's a little bit different. So, uh, yeah, our assaulter's getting assaulted pretty hard. Um, there we go. Alright, let's uh, get some buffs going here. Get some health back. And then, uh, big AoE in the middle there. Hit everybody for a bit. This Thor is about to go off with his ults, which is really nasty. Uh, we really don't want that to happen. And so, I'm gonna try to get him down. Uh, he is disrupted, which. Oh, and here comes another stun. Oh, look at that, 100k damage. Boom. Oh, that's nice. All right, we'll get rid of that Loki, and we'll focus on this. Loki has really no no uh, armor, so we can try to get him down. Hopefully, they don't ability or heal block uh, her. Maybe we should go for Hell. I think Hell is the one that heals them a whole lot, so I might need to get her down, actually. Ooh, that's going to suck. All right, he's got uh, debuff, so we'll do that. Uh, so we won't be able to give him buffs, but we can debuff everybody here. Do some damage mitigation. Um, I'm worried about Loki getting his ult again. Let's see if we can get Hela down. Oh shit, he's still disrupted. I forgot about that. Alright, let's just heal up, keep everybody alive, and keep plugging away. This this fight's all about sustainability and just trying not to die from Thor's ult. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The slows and debuffs on them. Let's just go to town on her. Oh, look at all those debuffs. 10K, 10K, 10K. Very nice. Disrupt. All right, let's put those buffs and debuffs. Take that frown, turn it upside down, right? That's how we do it. Look at that big AOE attack, but all of my dudes just keep cleansing over and over. I love research because she just keeps flipping buffs and or removing debuffs and so security. And that's so important because if they don't have any buff, uh, debuffs to spread, then uh, Hela just is not as effective. So, all right. Uh, let's go for Heimdall. We only got 56 seconds left, which isn't a whole lot. Um, so we need to make sure we get him down quickly and uh, focus on Loki. Damn, 
This guy's taking a ton of damage. It's a very slow fight, huh? All right, I'm gonna save it until we get rid of that Loki um, evade there, and we're just gonna keep plugging away here. Get rid of that evade. All right. Doing this. Let's put some debuffs on him. Hopefully, I'll be enough to get him down in time. Oh yeah, there's the big grab hit. Yeah. Let's, let's clean him up. There we go. Boom. Nice little punch up. Like 40k. Uh, I will say, I think Researcher is an excellent fit for AIM because of the sustainability. Not only on defense, but also on offense. Like, you can see her her ability to clear uh, bleeds, provide some extra healing when necessary, and then the fact that she gets so much turn meter from every debuff that's applied to other AIM characters is just phenomenal. And so it really, really helps and makes them a lot more powerful on uh, offense and really just in general because her sustainability even at uh, here look at this even only at 41k power right i think i only have three reds on her which isn't a whole lot but my aim researcher here she is 30 or she's 37k raw uh with 127,000 health and her healy drone thingamajig uh it does what 15 percent plus 6,000 health uh, so it's going to deal about 25,000 uh, hit points of, uh, of uh, healing, and it's a three energy cooldown. Plus, with her uh, passive, you know, on churn, da, 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 da. but uh, let's see, whenever a negative effect is applied to an aim ally, fill this character's speed bar by 10%. I could tier four this eventually and make it 20%, uh, which is crazy. So you think about that, she's just, every time you get negative effects, it just keeps building up her turn meter and letting her go. So she really works as an excellent off healer and creating some sustainability for the team and making sure Scientist Supreme doesn't go down as well. Um, so it's a really nice combo. I really like having her grab uh, Security, Salt, and uh, Scientist Supreme. I know a lot of people prefer Monstrosity. Uh, I don't know anybody that prefers Infector, but uh, some people really like Monstrosity for the offense up. Uh, but I just don't think it's necessary if you play it well. So it just kind of depends on who you're fighting too. But that was that was a good punch up. 40k on Asgardians. I think I think that's a pretty decent fight. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I will upload this, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's a bit of how you beat Asgardians. But I do think that the uh, priority is to slow stun and disrupt Thor, and, and then just get him down as soon as you can. Um, when Sif comes out, though, I think that team is going to be incredibly powerful. Uh, having a tank that's actually synergized with the Asgardians is going to be powerful, and then her ability to add uh, another Asgardian tag to the group uh, increases a bunch of their passive abilities, like Thor's. Um, so his thing will, he's, his thing is based on how many Asgardians are on the ground, and so uh, having another one will just increase uh, his his stuff. So I think his is. Uh, let me check real quick. Um, so we look at this, yeah, gain 5% damage, gain 5%, whatever, per Asgardian ally, and then on maximum charge, generate energy, um, you know, attack all enemies, charge, I mean, just, it, 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 it just keeps building with more Asgardians. So one more Asgardian is definitely going to make him a lot more powerful. I don't think any of his abilities uh, have anything to do with how many Asgardians are there, but his passive does, so pretty powerful it'll be really something next week i'm actually gonna have to start building him even though i've been putting it off forever <laughs> so pretty cool uh, i do love that as guardians team though they look amazing i really 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 want to get heimdall so i hope they fix the campaign soon uh, otherwise i would be streaming that tonight but there's uh not much to do so 